As Hurricane Milton approached Florida, it upgraded to a Category 5 hurricane to decimate everything in its path. But one man, just known as Lieutenant Dan, refused to leave his tiny boat. Are you are you going to be okay? I'm going to be fine. I don't think people realize you, you're so close to down. I mean, you could just get off if something bad happened. You know what I mean? I'm not going to stay here. The safest place to be is on a boat in a flood. Okay, we learned that with Noah. Ignoring law enforcement's orders to ride out the hurricane, miraculously surviving the storm, becoming a local celebrity that everybody wanted to see, and blowing up overnight to over half a million followers, getting his GoFundMe over $40,000, until Aiden Ross apparently pledged him several hundred thousand dollars for a new boat and a kick deal. I'm gonna be able to pay for a boat for you. We're gonna get you a nice boat um, in the range of fifty dollars to $100,000, um, and we're gonna get you a full-time kick deal which is a live streaming deal where you can stream your entire voyages and all your adventures, um, and you could have a passive income come in. But then, people started claiming he was just doing this for internet clout, pointing out his lengthy criminal history. So we have an awful lot to unpack here, from the potentially false claims of crimes he committed against kids, to the actual crimes he likely did, and the grift this exposes around internet clout. As this new wave of millionaires being made off of viral videos only incentivizes these dangerous decisions. As I'm glad I've never had to hide in a tiny boat during a historically large hurricane, all for the tiny opportunity that I might make some money. That's why it's great we have the sponsor for today's video, Raycon. So I've been using my Raycon Everyday Earbuds for quite some time now, and I'll tell you firsthand how convenient they are, as they come with several optimized gel tips so everybody can get their perfect in-ear fit. Especially when I'm going to the gym, I can easily find them in my bag with their yellow Sunset Protective Case. Using them in either awareness mode or with their new active noise cancellation feature, whenever I work out, I can always get right into the zone. So support the channel and check out the Raycon Everyday Earbuds today. Just go to buyraycon.com slash decoyvoice to get 20 to 50% off site-wide. That's up to 50% off everything on Raycon's website when you go to buyraycon.com slash decoyvoice. So let's break down what actually happened, as Hurricane Milton was becoming the fourth largest hurricane in recorded history. Even large boats were having issues sailing through the storm, as Florida was hit with over 180 mile an hour winds. The skies got eerily purple for some reason, as massive flooding started to surge throughout the city. Even the Tampa Bay Rays Stadium lost its roof, causing millions of dollars of damage. And although many residents followed Florida's evacuation orders, they're called Florida Man for a reason, as some stayed to casually jog through the storm. This Florida Man went out to plant a Trump flag right in Milton's smug face, and the Florida Man, known as Lieutenant Dan, figured he was safest at sea. God told me to come out here and get a boat. I came out here and got a boat. And everything that he's been telling me over the last two days is I'm doing the right thing. He's got my back. I'm in good shape, I ain't sweating it. So the plan's just to stick it out here? Yeah, I mean, it, the water's gonna come in, it's gonna rise. If you're on land, it's gonna flood, you're risking drowning. I'm in a boat, the boat goes up with the water. So even if the boat goes up 100 feet in the air, I'm gonna be up 100 feet in the air with the water. So it's really, the safest place in the world to be is on my boat, and I got room for one more female. <laughs> Even though the local police tried to make him leave, and the mayor claimed they forced him to flee into their shelter for safety, the LT allegedly stayed at sea, hunkered deep inside his tiny ship, posting on TikTok about his experiences, until there was actually a betting market on whether he would survive the night, where a third of these degenerates actually put money that Milton would send him to the pearly gates. Now I'm no prude, as I probably enjoy Vegas more than the average man, but something seems different from betting that a little black ball will land on black, or that I can roll the hard lines, than betting cash if a man will drown tonight. And sadly, this story only gets worse from here. As several posts initially said Lieutenant Dan survived the night, then practically everybody I follow reposted the same story. Except, I don't think he regrew his hair during the hurricane. So when everybody reposted clips about his survival, it was actually old footage from when Hurricane Helene hit Florida just over two weeks ago. Now I'm not sitting here shaking my fist at everybody that got it wrong, as everybody gets misled on social media every now and then. I just think it's important to know how easy it is to believe false information, and why it's important to reserve your torch and pitchforks for at least the first week. As Lieutenant Dan actually did survive the storm, absolutely blowing up on TikTok over 
overnight, where he previously sat at a few thousand views a video. He now sees several million with his audience only getting larger, as his GoFundMe just went over $40,000 and Aiden Ross offered him that huge kick deal. I'm gonna be able to pay for a boat for you. We're gonna get you a nice boat um, in the range of fifty dollars to $100,000. Um, and we're gonna get you a full-time kick deal. But then people started to say this was all a grift. Knowing that there was going to be a storm, he anchored himself to the worst place in all of Tampa. The worst place. From where he anchored, there are four marinas. A short jaunt, like literally not even 700 feet from where he's anchored would have been a safer location to put his boat. He was offered hotels. He was offered homes. He has clearly made $20,000 in a GoFundMe. All of this for internet clout. With people digging through his long criminal history, where their local news outlet reported last year he sank a boat, suggesting the boat that he's in might not even be his, where he allegedly fought a lady after setting a park bench on fire, and did a year in the pen after bopping a copper in the face. But then, social media users started to say he also committed a horrendous crime on a kid, which this video here is stitched together, but people are saying when Aiden Ross read this, he pulled his kick deal, to which Lieutenant Dan says the same. So then he turned around and he started singing about my history. Well, you should have did that before you made the offer. You know, if you're worried about your image and who you have working for you, you should have done your due diligence and looked me up before you made me an offer of $100,000 sign-on bonus $50,000 a month with a $100,000 boat. And I'm going to let you go because I don't care about that. But I'm going to tell you He this, took the I'm money gonna... away too? Huh? He took the 100 k Took that as far as I know everything. The problem being, it's probably not the same guy. The middle name is wrong, it's the wrong age, even the wrong weight. And with these internet stories, depending on when you discovered it, Dan was either a legendary Florida man, a social media grifter, a local celebrity making it into live streaming stardom, an S offender, or just an innocent man with a mistaken identity. And you'd probably be wrong every single time. Except the internet isn't really known for its rational thought and attention to nuance. I'm not here saying he's this innocent angel deserving of a new boat and $50,000 kick deal, but I'm also not saying he's this evil grifter out there to cash out on a hurricane. This just reminds me of that court case I saw a Moist Critical cover. First the driver was an idiot for FaceTiming while driving to his suspended license case, except then it was just another example of mistaken identity and he was innocent, but then the case got far worse the more we learned about his criminal history. And for all we know there's some new revelation that just came out that makes him more innocent than before. I don't know. I just think it sucks where the public opinion surrounding someone isn't based on reality, it's based on which side of the argument goes more viral. So if you appreciate my concise, light order commentary on the tragic status that is today's reality, hopefully I've earned your subscription, then go check out the video on the live streamer that ruined his life trying to make a viral video. 